since I uh, decided to go through and play the crap out of shooter games today, uh, and since I ended up seeing it on Steam, I decided to go through and revisit Counter-Strike, uh, specifically Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now, for those of you who are kind of in the closet, or, well, not in the closet, but uh, in the shelter, so to say, have never heard of Counter-Strike. Basically, it is an old-ass game. It started off as a mod for Half-Life uh, back in, like, 99 or some shit. Uh, and eventually that mod has become more than a mod, but actual staple of essentially a first-person shooter. Um, I actually remember playing the crap out of this... Um, I can't remember what version it was. Maybe 1.0 or something like that. Ah, fuck if I know. But I remember playing the crap out of this game uh, in my engineering lab when I was in high school because we didn't feel like doing actual work <laughs> and we had a few games to choose from, uh, this being one of them, and we would hop on the LAN and just completely kick the shit out of each other for hours on end throughout the different maps and just wreak havoc on each other and have a ball. Um, normally I go through and I don't really play uh, stuff like Counter-Strike anymore. I mean essentially it is a multiplayer game. Uh, right now the video gameplay footage that you're watching is set up where I'm against bots. You know I'm not playing against any other human beings. It's just all bots. That's, yeah, you know, I'm a campaign type person. I enjoy playing by myself. Mainly because it's too much of an issue to get other people that I know and normally would game with. But that's neither here nor there. And it's a long ass story and all that other bullshit. But anyhow, now that I've went through and uh, basically gave you a background on not only the game, but uh, some of my distaste for multiplayer and all that other crap. Let's go into the game itself. Basically, this is nothing more than like an HD repack or a, a polished version of the old Adieu or whatever you want to call it. The basic principles, a lot of the maps uh, are essentially the same. I mean, even Dust 2, which is one of my most favorite maps, has changed a little bit, but it's more... it's essentially an old school game that has been refitted, upgraded a little bit, made more modern, but it's still the same game, it's still the same principle, it's still the same everything. I mean, either way you cut it, I don't want anybody to be misled. It is. Basically. And keep this in mind. Do not forget it, do not misplace it. It is the same game with, you know, a couple coats of new paint. That's all it is. But if you're like me, you know, I occasionally like playing older games that just look absolutely com and completely horrible because they are old and outdated, not to mention you have issues playing older games on Windows 7 and from time to time and so on and so forth. So... Whenever we go through and come across something like this where I enjoyed playing it in the past and then they have a newer, uh, updated, more polished, painted version where, you know, it's a little bit more efficient to run on your PC, I'm kind of happy. You know, I do like the sheer fact that you can still go through and mod it. I do like the sheer fact that you can still go through and play with a lot of different people and mash up the game styles and whatnot. I also like the sheer fact that I don't have to worry about, you know, calling up my friends or playing with strangers or what have you. I could play against bots and just jack the difficulty up and call it a day. With everything that I've pushed out of my mouth and, and said here, uh, I'm basically going to go through, tidy this up and, and just let you watch the rest of the gameplay footage uh, that's in the video. 
I have to say, if I were to rate this, it's only going to get about... It's only going to get a 5. Now, the reason why it's not getting any higher, or any lower for that matter, is because, one, I mean, it's got this nice nostalgic value to it. Uh, something that I do like, and I hold kind of dear to it. You know, it reminds me a lot of my, you know, days in high school, and days that I actually had fun just completely running amok and doing whatever I wanted. But, at the same time, it's nothing new, it's just a repackaged and re-upped version of the original Counter-Strike. I mean, granted, you may have gotten rid of some of the glitches, you may have gotten some of the uh, different weapons, better graphics, so on and so forth, what have you. It is no different, though. It is not anything special. It's not anything new. It doesn't have any real new features. So, it is a rebrand... Or, not a rebranding, but basically a remake. For that, it's going to score rather low. It is what it is. I still have fun with it. So, it doesn't matter. Even if it is a 5, I will still sit there and play Counter-Strike... Go, you know, global offensive for hours on end. And especially whenever I can get my friends to actually come over for a LAN party, it is one of those things that we most likely will sit there and just decimate each other for, you know, basically the entire night. Take that with a grain of salt. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop them in the box below. If you found this informative at all, you like the video, hey, hit the like button, give me a thumbs up, and feel free to subscribe. That way you'll know every time we kick out a new video. Uh, but for now, I'm Ghost Gamer. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. See you, Bertrand.